title of our next presentation is The Truth is Out There. Alien Existence Would Not Defeat Christian Theology. Please welcome Genesis Guzman. I thought my dad was crazy. A few years ago, my father told me a story about when he was 15 and living in Mexico. Regularly, he would go out and pick mangoes from the neighbor's trees until one day he noticed a silver flying disc hovering over the mountains. He adjusted his vision to get a better look, but then realized that the object was slowly spinning in a circular motion. He said it was a UFO. I told my dad that there was no way. I doubted him, saying that he may have seen a helicopter or a plane, but he insisted. He told me that he had seen many military aircrafts, and this was not like any of those that he has seen. What he witnessed was something different. Theories on aliens are nothing new. There are many stories of people like my dad having encounters with possible UFOs. Recently, the US government and military have been releasing footage of what appear to be these UFOs. Between December 2017 and March 2018, the Navy released unidentified aerial phenomenon footage that was seen and captured by one of their military aircrafts. Not only was this one of the many reports released, but this had persuaded the Pentagon to take action and investigate what could be lurking in the sky. So what if these sightings are real? What if aliens are real? What does this mean for Christians? And will one be going against their faith and believing in this phenomenon? Some say that believing in this existence proves a non-Christian worldview. I argue that even though the Bible does not mention them, if aliens exist, they would fit without a problem within a Christian theological framework since they fall in line with the doctrines of the creation, the fall, salvation, and end times. The doctrine of creation teaches us that God created everything and that he shares this special and loving relationship with all his creatures. He is the creator of the cosmos, the stars, the galaxies, meaning that if aliens exist, he is also the creator of these beings. Theologian Thomas O'Meara explains how God calls all into existence and directs them in levels that are difficult for us to imagine. Further saying that if aliens exist, he created them along with the rest of creation and has a reason for it, even though we may not know why. But this brings up a follow-up question. If aliens are real, did they fall with humans? Because of Adam and Eve, we live in a sinful world. So could it be? Because of Adam and Eve, we live in a sinful world. So could this mean something for aliens as well? We are unaware if aliens have fallen with humanity or have fallen due to their own sin at their own time. Because we have free will, could it be that aliens have a sense of rationality the same way that we do? That would mean that the fall did apply to them, as Adam's sin affected the universe. Theologian and philosopher C.S. Lewis even shares in his book, Out of the Silent Planet, that it could be the case that aliens have not fallen but have not yet met with religion. There are, many consider there are many possibilities to take into consideration about aliens, but more questions from this arise. We know that the doctrine of salvation 
is about the forgive, forgiveness of human sin. But what about aliens? Joel Parkin, a theologian, states that incarnation is the highest self-revelation, but God could give extraterrestrial salvation in other ways. Jesus' death on the cross opened up salvation to not only us, but to them, as God could bring alien salvation in other ways that do not involve incarnation. In the Bible, there is no word of a second incarnation of Christ, meaning that he would not have to be incarnated as any other being in order to fulfill his prophecy of salvation to us or, if they exist, aliens. For all we know, he may be using us in his act of redemption to bring these beings to faith, especially as the end times draw near. Throughout the Bible, especially in Revelation, we are informed of the things to come in the end times. The Bible reminds us that God has a purpose for everything and everyone. With that, we can see the possibility of extraterrestrial life not being inconsistent with the Bible. We see many prophets in the Bible have interactions with extraterrestrials. The prophet Ezekiel, for example, he had a vision of a storm cloud engulfed in flames that was approaching him with four different creatures. And these, be these beings were not human. But since Philippians 2, 10 to 11 tells us that every tribe and every tongue will bow down and confess Jesus as Lord at the end, this may possibly include alien tribes and alien tongues. However, people tend to believe that the Bible has no relation with aliens because there is no explicit mention of an alien being. Why would God create these beings and not mention them in the Bible? Although the word alien is not mentioned in the Bible, there is still a possibility of potential extraterrestrial life in the universe. Thomas Aquinas, theologian and philosopher, states that even though extraterrestrials are not mentioned in the Bible, it does not mean that the idea of them is not possible. He believes that knowledge of extraterrestrials is not a concern for the faith, as the creatures were created and subject to God only. Luke 137 even tells us that nothing is impossible with God, making it clear that aliens are possible, especially as God reveals truth to us over time. In Acts 2.19, God even promises signs that are to happen in the final days, saying that he will show wonders to the heavens above and the signs on the earth below. Christ has a purpose for all things, which makes me believe that they are revealed for a reason. Aliens are a reminder for things to come, and God calls us in Isaiah 35, 4, to be strong and fear not, for he has a plan for everything. So maybe my dad was not crazy. He witnessed the UFO. Ever since, he has talked about the relationships with the Bible and aliens. And once in a while, when he sees a video of a UFO, he shows it to me and explains how biblically there is a connection between the two. Believing in this phenomenon is not wrong. Knowing that Christ has a plan, we should all feel at peace with whatever the future holds. For the truth is out there, and God is revealing it to us. Thank you.